So I have some breaking news for you. I just did a video, ironically, only about 15 minutes ago, showing how David Wood and Sam Shimon bans Muslims from commenting on their page, right? And I actually spoke good words of Jonathan McClatchy, and I said he's the only one that doesn't remove posts. Well, surprise, surprise, ironically, yesterday I... I uploaded two videos showing proof that Jesus will kill or punish apostates on his second return in the lake of fire. Well, I had that exchange with a Christian called Hunter Williams on Jonathan McClatchy's Facebook page. And Lord and behold, what happened is Jonathan has removed the whole post after I completely refuted uh, Williams, Hunter Williams, on the subject. And in fact, I even published two videos on this particular subject from the very, from the very screen, uh, debate screen, capture screen, from directly from Facebook. Now, I called... Uh, when uh, Hunter Williams could not respond to my allegations and he was clearly refuted, I actually said to Hunter Williams, I give up with you. You can't give me an answer. So then I called Jonathan to the stage to give us a response. And I waited, I tagged Jonathan, and guess what Jonathan did? He didn't remove the whole post. It's there, but he removed our comment, which was more than 300 odd comments and we can go down to his facebook page and we will show you exactly where it is now here is jonathan's page jonathan mcclatchley now here is the post i went down on his page and the post is under well the debate is under dr zakir naik apostates in islam should be killed so if you can see it's got exactly three uh, it's got about 23 likes it's got about 352 comments and four shares now when we click on the whole thread it will show you the comments and here is the whole comments watch so you'll see leslie lockhart commenting and just under that there's only two previous replies doesn't look like 300 and comments does it now you can actually see we'll go further down on the page shahad hussain three comments under there yusuf ismail and Muhammad sharif mafona has put a reply and you'll see, we'll just go a little bit more below the page. Charles Jones, Viola Osborne has written. Issa James has posted. And that's it. That's about it. As you can see. Here we go again. Look. Does that look like 356 or 352 comments to you? Here you go. Here you go. He's deleted my thread and debate with hunter williams and i actually wrote to jonathan mcclatchy i said how come jonathan mcclatchy deleted all my comments showing proof jesus will kill or punish apostates in his return this thread says there are 352 comments but there is now only a handful of comments why so there you have it folks these people are scared to engage and when you go to their pages and you refute them they delete the threads, right? They delete the threads. So this is evidence. I actually looked up to Jonathan, Jonathan McClatchley. I thought Jonathan would be honest compared to Sam Shimon and David Wood, who's actually banned me from commenting on their Facebook posts. Jonathan has now disappointed me. He's disappointed me because he has removed the comments you can see there's 352 comments on that post and if you go to the post there's only a handful of comments look we'll go straight down only a handful of comments is that 352 comments is it he's clearly refute uh, uh, deleted my debate 
with Williams Hunter on this very subject where I showed Jesus on his second return will kill uh, apostates, ex-Christians. But don't be worried because I'm a bit more clever than these Christians because I know how they operate. I already published our debate exchange in a video platform on Facebook. You can watch below this video two videos showing the actual exchange, which Jonathan has now removed from the wider audience on his Facebook page. Thank you. God bless Islam and will continue to refute these liars and we will show their true colors how they hide when their Christian friends are being refuted debunked and destroyed and he purposely removed the whole exchange and the whole debate because they have no answer and they have no response and he was too shameful to leave it there right so he removed the post altogether, particularly my Fred. Why do you do that? I mean, show some intellectual honesty. If you really think that you are on the truth, leave it for everyone to see. But they conveniently removed the post. This is what Jonathan did. Shame on you, honestly, shame on you. But not to worry, we still have the evidence on video.